Hi everyone. Uh, I don't really have a lot to say other than the most important thing of all. And the most important thing of all is that the Lord in His love and in His mercy has warned the world. He's been warning the world for centuries. He's been putting His people out there and they've been putting their credibility on the line with a warning of what is to come. He's done everything he can short of coming to give people an idea of how miserable it's going to be if they do not find shelter in him. I'm telling you, throughout time, read your Bible, this time has been foretold, and now, if you listen around you and you look around you, there are so many signs in the weather, in the skies, in the fact that they're poisoning us with what's going on and spraying us from the plains, in um, the horrible tornadoes, in the frequency of the earthquakes, in the volcanoes, in the hardness of the hearts of men, in the compromise of the morality of man. All of this was foretold. The time of the Lord's coming is now imminent. You must push into him and there is no room for compromise. We all know that we need him, but we're too proud. We all know that the time is coming, but we don't want to believe it. And we doubt because of the naysayers, but they're lying to you. You must believe whom the Lord has sent to tell you. The time has come. Get on your knees. Repent your sin. Turn from your wicked ways. Seek his face. Pray and beg him that you may be counted worthy to escape the wrath to come. I do believe that you are reaching your final warnings. And I'm not trying to scare you. But what is, is. And you must recognize that. And you must push into Jesus. Don't wait. Do it now. There is no more time. Read your Bible. It's warning you. It's telling you. Look on YouTube. People are warning you. Look on the internet. People are warning you. Walk down the street. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord to have somebody warn you. They will. But do it now. There's nothing more that I can say. I pray you will hear me. The Lord's love is incredible and everlasting. And it is his will that you listen, repent, bow your knee to him, seek his face and pray. Read his word. Repent your sins. Seek his holiness. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, the only way, the only truth, and the only hope. God bless. Amen.